Hi, I'm Neil from Team Teacher, teaching, living, and raising a family in China. Uh, air pollution is a big issue in many parts of the world, especially here in China. Uh, but how can you tell if you are being affected? Uh, one of the ways that you can do that is by air quality monitors. We're going to take a look at an air quality monitor today. Let's check it out. There are many uh, air quality monitors on the market. The one that we use and the one that we recommend is the Laser Egg by Origins. Uh, very simple to use, it's only got two buttons. Uh, the first button is for the power and the second button is to choose between the options. All the uh, air moves through this reader at the front and you get a digital reading at uh, the display here. Now, it actually gives you a couple of different readings. Uh, the first is the air quality per Chinese EPA standards. So it's at 20 now. And then we press the option button. And it takes a little time to kind of, you know, calm down and stop fluctuating. Uh, but the second reading it would give you is the air quality per American EPA standards. So this one says it's at 45. And the third option is basic your basic scientific readings uh, of the PM 2.5 particle, and here it's 12, well, 11 milligrams per cubic meter uh, for this area. Um, so it focuses on the PM 2.5 particles because these are the smallest particle, one of the smallest particles, and they are the ones that are more re readily absorbed into your bloodstream. So we don't use either the Chinese or American EPA standards for air quality. Uh, what we actually prefer to do is use the uh, basic scientific readings and then we follow the WHO, the World Health Organization, guidelines uh, for what is clean air. Uh, and basically how that works is what they say is if it's uh, 10 or below uh, in PM 2.5 milligrams per cubic meter, then uh, this is good quality clean air for long-term exposure. Uh, you've got no risks whatsoever. Uh, anything between 10 to 25 uh, milligrams uh, per cubic meter of PM 2.5 particles, uh, they say that that you, for short term and exposure, uh, you know, you're going to be un okay, you're not going to feel any long term medical effects, uh, it might just irritate you in the short term, uh, but anything above 25 uh, is going to lead to adverse health effects and uh, shortening your lifespan. Um, with the higher the reading, the more immediate the repercussions for your health. Let's test out this air quality monitor. We're in our apartment right now, and the reading that it's giving me is 15 uh, milligrams of PM 2.5 per cubic meter. Uh, that's in our apartment, and right now we have our air purifier running on full whack. Now, my Air Quality Asia app says outside the PM 2.5 reading uh, should be about 150, which um, is not that healthy. So, let's go outside and see what sort of difference that we've got going on here. Let's take a look. Okay, you can see right now it's at 13, 14. So let's check out outside and see how much of a difference it makes. So you can see it's rapidly 
increasing. Um, hitting 99. And we've got a breeze coming through here, which is good. Uh, so you can see every time the breeze comes through, uh, the reading fluctuates as it, it you know it moves the air along. But yeah, you can see uh, it's telling you about 90. So you know it's actually a little less than the um, air quality Asia app that I have. But that gave gives you a, a reading for the whole of Shenzhen, uh, whereas this is specific to our area. Uh, I mean, it's a big difference uh, from inside where we've got the air purifier running to outside, uh, so you can kind of see uh, it in action. You've seen the laser egg in action of how you can tell the, the difference between the air quality outside and inside, uh, you can tell if your air purifiers are working correctly. Um, but how does it work? Well, like I said, air comes in through the back, you get the reading out through the front in a variety of ways, uh, but it is automatically calibrated, so you don't really have to worry about that. Um, what we found is it works decently well. Obviously, there are going to be discrepancies um, when there's a lot of humidity or other environmental factors, uh, but I think it's a pretty decent barometer for uh, how clean the air is in your vicinity. Um, in addition, it's uh, portable, it's light, uh, it's charged by a USB uh, port uh, behind that you can you know, use the same USB for most phones, uh, you can plug it into your computer or you can just plug it into an outlet, pretty simple. Um, one of the best parts that I like is that it comes with an app that you can use. Um, now the app you can use so when you're out and about and you're going to come home you can see uh, what is the you know, reading for the air quality in your home so you can turn on your air purifier and get that going so you arrive back to clean air. So uh, I hope you enjoyed our little review of the Laser Egg by Origins. Uh, if you like the channel um, please consider subscribing uh, and liking our videos um, and in the box below there will be a link uh, to the Laser Egg Origins if you so wish to be like us and purchase it.